families along with them. Perhaps our Buddy, no more MMA for Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Please stand as able and join in the collect of welcoming. Holy Spirit, living within us, send to St. Peter's all who are hurting or in need, all who are searching for you or for answers in their lives. Prepare us this day to receive them as Christ would. Give us discerning hearts so that everyone who crosses our threshold feels welcome in the spirit of your love. Welcome us to recognize each person as an individual sent by you into our lives. And most of all, oh God, let this be a place of love and acceptance all your children. In the name of your child, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join for our opening hymn number 574. Thank you. 
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise. O oh God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that he might destroy the works of the devil, and make us children of God, and heirs of eternal life. Grant that having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom is radiant and unfading, and she is easily discerned by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. One who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for she will be found sitting at the gate. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding, and one who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Today's psalm is Psalm 70. We will read responsively by full verse. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. But those who seek my life be ashamed, not altogether to spin. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back to disgrace. Let those who say to me, aha, and gloat over me turn back, because they are ashamed. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me speedily, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. 
For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout. Look, here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Can I have the kids come down and have a seat? Come have a seat. Stand today. Mijos, avante, adelante. Come on, come on up. Nope, up here. That's all right, we got plenty of time. Come seat. You're gonna learn a, a new language today. Are you excited? A new language. All right, you guys ready? A new language. It's not Spanish. It's not German. It's Scottish. When I was a young man, I went to Scotland to study for a year. And as is wont in places like subways and 
buses and things like that. Have you ever been where you see the little advertisements on the wall or up on top above the windows? Yeah, you've seen those. And sometimes there'll be little sayings like poems by these poets like Langston Hughes or something like that. Yeah, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. No? That's for you guys, it's not for them. I'm just checking. You listening? Good. So there'd be these little lines of poetry. Well, in Scotland, it's not English or American poets, it's Scottish poets. And one of those is Robert Burns. And he's a great poet, really great. And my friend Chris and I, we both went to college in the same place. And then we were at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland together. Our favorite one, which we would still recite, actually, when we talk on the phone, we still say it to each other. This was a long time ago. Long time ago. And here's the saying, and then I'll translate. The saying is this. Dina fash ne gria borosel, fe goes great lich ne dim, his lamp is I full. Did you get that? You did? Yep, there it goes. Someone knows, you guys, what is fash? You learned this in Sunday school. It's, it's exactly it. You're worried, you're hangry, you're upset, right? You're churned up, you're anxious about something, your fingers won't stay still, your palms are sweaty, your stomach's not great. Foshing, that's foshing. Yeah, fosh, don't fosh. Don't worry, don't fosh about yourself. Dina fosh ne grieve about yourself. Don't grieve about yourself either. For God's great light does not dim. God's lamp is always full. And I don't know about you, but in light of today's gospel, I really needed to hear that. Because we heard about those bridesmaids who were foolish <laughs> and forgot to bring an extra vial of oil for their lamps. Now, when I was in Scotland, we actually traveled to Greece and I actually got a little oil lamp for myself. Because the other thing about Scotland, especially way north in Scotland where we were, is that you're very close to the Arctic Circle. And when the days get short, they get really short. In fact, when the days were at their shortest, the sun would rise at around 10 o'clock in the morning and it would set at two o'clock in the afternoon. And when it was dark, it was dark for a long time. I mean, you guys were upset about losing daylight savings time, right? And you know, the days are getting shorter, I can live with that, but suddenly now it's dark before I get home. That's not right, right? See, consensus. So the idea of having that little oil lamp, to me, it created warmth and light in my, in my room. I could, I could sit in my flat, I could feel that, even though that was a little tiny lamp and a little tiny light, just a little bit of olive oil, I felt like I could keep my night watch going on those long, long nights. And the idea that someone would not share oil with someone else, when we're hearing a story about the kingdom of God, that's really bothersome to me. Is it bothersome to you? Yeah, we were having this conversation in Sunday school, and basically, you can't see their faces right now, but the, where's the good news in that, Father Marshall? Foolish bridesmaids, wise bridesmaids. Yeah, you should say mean bridesmaids who won't share their oil. And why are we arguing about oil when really we're supposed to be celebrating relationships in the kingdom of God. They didn't say that part, I did. <laughs> but that's the challenge, especially in the days we live in today, because we can fosh, can't we? We can worry, we can fret. We fret a lot. Oh, I do. And I'm a pretty unfashy kind of guy. In fact, you might even say I'm quite unfashionable. Again, just checking to see if you're still listening. But the emphasis in the Bobby Burns quote is not so much on whether the lamp is, our lamp is full or empty, but to remember that God's lamp 
is always full and it's always lit for you and for me and for everyone. And how, how do we demonstrate to the world what it means to be celebrating that lamp that's always lit? Yes, it does a little bit. When I get excited, it does that. I also have a very large voice. And I, and I have a microphone. Exactly. I'm going to land the plane. Is that okay? They're all waiting. You've already read us, but I've already heard this part. Yes, you have. But the emphasis here, they haven't yet. So we're going to share the oil. Is that okay? Thank you, Christopher. The point is, it's not whether some have and some don't. It's about how we, as the body of Christ, offer support to those in need. To prefer that oil that gives illumination, that gives warmth, that gives care, that gives support, that offers justice and hope, that is a purveyor and extender of peace. That's why we're here. Paul was writing to the Thessalonians a long time ago, and they were very upset. They were flashing. They were very worried. St. Paul, not Dad Paul, St. Paul. St. Paul. St. Paul was writing to Thessalonians because they had all been told that Jesus was coming back soon, and they couldn't wait to see Jesus. No, not your daddy, St. Paul. It's like, it's like, your daddy's great, 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 great uncle. Paul didn't have any kids. He didn't get married. Grandpa. This is one of those weeks where I can't literally land the plane, is it? We're just going to keep circling the airport. Please let me just do this one bit. Yes. Are you mean bridesmaids? Okay, then let me share some oil here. You should see the upset on Rebecca's face. Like, How dare you call me a mean bridesmaid? I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. She's okay now. All right, so. You're really wondering where I'm going with this. So am I. I lost the beat about five minutes ago. My point is, is that people had started to die when they thought that they were in the here and now. And Paul is trying to tell them, no, you have to have hope. You have to have hope beyond this life. And if we are people who live for a hope that is beyond this life, then it transforms our awareness of what we have in this life and turns us rather than people who are anxious, who fash into people who offer and give. We give hope, we give light, we offer life and we pray for peace. Dina Fashne, good year, yourself. Why? Because God's great lamp does not dim. God's lamp is always full. Amen. Thank you very much. As we pull up to the gate, you'll hear, you'll wait for the announcement and you can undo your seatbelts and grab your bit, things from the bin and head out to the, uh, to the landing pit. I landed the plane. <laughs> no. And we pray for donuts. Can we pray for donuts? We're praying for donuts. If they pass, they can just use it. They just solve everything. Just solve everything. <laughs> My siblings in Christ, let us stand and affirm our faith with the words of the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, 
eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. She has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us join the countless throngs who sing God's praises, praying, we bless you, O Lord. Your praise is ever in our mouths. God of the Pilgrim Church, you love us and call us your children. Give your church a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. Continue to nurture us by the example and fellowship of those saints who have journeyed before us. We remember Michael, our presiding bishop, Sally, our bishop, Marshall, our rector, Elizabeth, our associate, and Ava, our seminarian. We bless you, O Lord. God of all people, you love us and call us your children. In a world of violence and war, you bless the peacemakers. Make us instruments of healing and peace. We remember those serving in the military, especially Nicole, Matthew, Matthew, Daniel, Shelby, and Brian. We bless you, O Lord. Your praise. God of creation, you love us and call us your children. You have given us this earth to the... To the meek. May our steps be gentle and leave a small footprint on our earth. As it has been handed on to us, may we carefully preserve this creation for future generations. We bless you, O Lord. God of the city, you love us and call us your children. Bless the poor with good things. Visit our impoverished neighborhoods with hope, mercy, and relief. Give us hearts for the poor in our region. We bless you, O Lord. Your face is God of the mournful and suffering, you love us and call us your children. Comfort and heal those in need. Heal them, hear them in their affliction and save them from their troubles. We pray for all on our parish prayer list, especially Rick, Chris and Christine, Felicia, Luann, Katie, Elizabeth, Paul and Nancy, Tara, Kim, Robert, Misty, Stacy, Moira, Alex, Dylan, Kay, Michael, Doug and Christy, Larry, Roger, Steve, Maureen, Jeff, Kay, Sonny, Betty, Pat, Piper, Ayla, William, Phil, Gail, the O'Donnell family, Peter, Ethel, Aiden, Eddie and Nancy, Cindy, Vula, Lorraine, Jeffrey, Christopher, Felipe, Diane, Florence, Oscar, Joseph, Patrick, Joshua, 
Ernie, Keith, John, Janet, Paul, Gloria, and Doreen. We bless you, O Lord. Your praise sever in our hearts. God of the church at rest, you love us and call us your children. We praise you for the faith and witness of all the saints. May their prayers and presence continue to strengthen us. It is with their triumphant voices that we join our own prayers and praises. Alleluia. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays this week, especially Will, Paul, Rory, Peggy, and Jane. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we give thanks for Agresia Ang Anglicana de Mogambique e Angola. In the, in the diocesan cycle of prayer, we give thanks for the Reverend Dr. Paul S. Ramasa. We bless you, O Lord. Our praise is never ending. Gracious God, we also pray especially for peace and our siblings impacted in the Middle East, as well as nearby in the synagogue in Monroe. Be with our world as we try to do better. Amen. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in our thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. The Lord Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace. Peace. Good morning. God's peace be with you. Uh, first, if you got a chance uh, over in the uh, fellowship space during coffee hour to grab some of the uh, Las Comidas Santa, the, the blessed uh, food of our brothers and sisters, our siblings in Christ, the Los Peruanas, um, they did a beautiful serving of chaufa as well as uh, sopa de pollo, chicken soup. Um, and I think there was a general consensus that soup for breakfast is awesome. Um, so please, uh, thank you for that. We appreciate it. As well, um, some announcements. We have a vestry meeting tomorrow night. We'll be meeting in the chapel space um, because starting on Monday, our shop volunteers will be setting up for the great Christmas sale in the shop. Uh, you guys may not know this, but there's an awful lot of Christmas stuff in our, in our storage. We actually have a whole room dedicated to Christmas. And now because we are moving stuff up, you can actually see the floor. It's amazing. For that, we give thanks. But I guarantee you that on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, if you visit the shop, you will find that one thing that you now know will make Christmas perfect. Exactly. It's true. 
It's true. Or you may find your Christmas beret. Yes. <laughs> um, if you are available on Wednesday evening, uh, our own uh, the husband of Jessica, our music, my music person, who is being subbed for today for Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Welcome. She's with us. Father Freddie's Churches, Trinity Woodbridge, and St. James Edison are sponsoring a screening of the Philadelphia 11. Uh, those of you who may not know this, uh, the ordination of women in the Episcopal Church and the Anglican Communion was irregular. In fact, there were only one or maybe two women who had been ordained to the priesthood before the 1970s. And these were in extreme situations, and it really wasn't something that was done to our great shame. In 1973, 11 women were ordained to the priesthood in the uh, cathedral in Philadelphia, the Diocese of Pennsylvania. And that was what's called an irregular ordination in that it wasn't sanctioned by general convention of the Episcopal Church. It wasn't until 1976 at general convention that they actually ratified that and regularized those ordinations. But those Philadelphia 11 were the first priests of the, of the Episcopal Church and really started a movement that for the last 50 years has seen the growth of women's ordination and also open access to ordination for all sorts of conditions of human beings to the point that we've had a female, our, um, female presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church and also I believe in Australia, I think, or, or there've been several other bishops. I, I just went out too far on a limb, I'm sorry. But we're growing as we go. I actually was honored to know a couple of those Philadelphia 11 in my early ministry. Carter Hayward was my ethics professor when I was at GTS. She, I took a class with her at Union, as well as Nancy Wittig was actually a priest that I knew pretty well growing up. On top of that, a member priest and a, and a sibling in ministry in this diocese, the Reverend Dr. Ginny Shea, was actually invited to be a part of that. It almost was the Philadelphia 12, but she decided to defray that until her bishop could ordain her. So she waited until after General Convention in 1976. All that being said, this is a, an amazing documentary. It's worth taking the opportunity to see. I know Freddie, Father Freddie said there were a few tickets left. It's going to be at the Avenel Art uh, Center, and uh, it is general admission, and it is free admission. So you can go for free. All you have to do is sign up on Eventbrite so you can get a ticket. Please do avail yourself of that. That's available on the E! News. Forward Day by Days, Adelante Dia a Dia, are available to you here up front, as well as in the back, large print in the back, small print here and up, uh, here in the back and up front. You can grab those. Change for Change is for the uh, Rector's Discretionary Fund, so appreciate the support of that. People have been very generous, and also ch for the quarter and for the open plate that we've had the last couple of weeks. Appreciate that as well. Finally, um, please do keep in mind, if you're getting, not finally, but two left, if you've got your turkey or your ham that is free because of ShopRite, Feel free to donate that to Alice's Cup or to Kelly's Cupboard. We make sure that those go out. That ham, that turkey is going to feed a family of four or five for several days. It's a great opportunity for us to stretch out what we can offer up. It has been very difficult to get our hands on fresh meat and eggs through the Community Food Bank of New Jersey and through Replenish, which is our Middlesex County food pantry and distribution point. So any, any, uh, any comestible protein is really important for that. We do have ShopRite cards, so you can obtain those, get closer to your free turkey or ham at ShopRite, and of course, help out the church. And actually, Luann at the eight o'clock said, and if you're one of those people who has adult children or grandchildren, these are great things to buy and give to your kids so that they can cook you a meal and invite you over to their house. So think of that that way. That's a great thing. There you go. Um, Liz. Just a quick announcement. There are some things coming in Advent, so keep an eye in the e-news for some save the dates. We're going to have a quiet morning, the third Saturday in Advent, as well as um, a greening in the church, and then some more communion bread baking on the second Sunday in Advent. So um, things to look forward to. There will be more info in the weeks to come. And just want to make a note on communion bread. Um, it's been a gift to be able to share uh, the fruits of our retreat we're, and we're hoping to be able to continue it because there has been some questions, can we continue it? Uh, with that being said, I also want to ensure that anyone who's gluten-free knows that there is always a gluten-free option. And so just let us know we do have some gluten-free and especially with the, with the bread that's a little bit more glutinous, um, 
just wanting to make sure that you feel uh, feel welcome and home and your body feels safe at the table here at the St. Pete. Thank you. Please mark your calendars on top of uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Um, we also have Blue Christmas coming up. That is December 21st, the Feast of St. Thomas. Uh, that's the also the solstice, the longest night. Uh, so please do mark your calendars for that. That'll be in the evening. Um, we will be giving you more information on that. We'll again create the avenue of, uh, of votive lights, of those light for each person we remember and have lost um, from the uh, lich gate to the front door of the church. And we'll have a service of remembrance and Eucharist that evening. So please do join us for that. Great to have you with us. If you have your commitment of giving card, you can put that into the plate. We appreciate your support. Always good to share the oil so that all of us can keep our lamps lit. As well, if you'd like to do that online, you're welcome to do so. You can do that via the website as well as through our e-news. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Make good your vows to the Most High. And soon he will not Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Te damos gracias, O oh Dios, por la bondad y el amor que nos mostraste al crear el universo, al llamar a Israel a ser tu pueblo, al revelar tu palabra a través de los profetas y sobre todo al encarnar tu palabra en Jesucristo, tu Hijo. Porque en estos días finales los enviaste para encarnarse de la Virgen María y ser el Salvador y Redentor del mundo. En él nos liberaste de mal y nos hiciste dignos de estar de pie en tu presencia. En él nos llevaste del error a la verdad del pecado, a la rectitud de la muerte a la vida. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer you our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. Te rogamos, Dios, de toda bondad, que envíes tu Espíritu Santo sobre estas ofrendas para que sean el sacramento de cuerpo de Cristo y su sangre de la nueva alianza. Unenos a tu Hijo en su sacrificio para que seamos aceptables por medio de él, santificados por él, Espíritu Santo. En la plenitud del tiempo, pon todo bajo el, el mando de tu ungido y llévanos a la escuela patria celestial. Con la siempre Santísima Virgen María, el bendito Pedro, nuestro patrono, tus santos y santas, recibamos la herencia eterna de pueblo. Por Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, primogénito de toda la creación, cabeza de la iglesia y autor de nuestra salvación. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Body of Christ, God of heaven. Amen. Thank 
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I know we have at least two birthdays in here today, Jane and Paul. Um, if you'd like to come up for a blessing, or Paul, if you want us to come to you, this feels. And if there are any, are there any anniversaries? No. Okay. Please join me. Oh. If you want to hold it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, watch over thy children, O oh God, as their days increase. Let them guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts may thy peace which passes understanding abide all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What is that? I got a superhero. I'm going to give you some bookmarks, too. There you go. Thank go you. Ahead. Thank you. And happy birthday and anniversary to anyone who's out there on YouTube or wherever you are. <laughs> Live without fear. For your creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be with you always. Amen. Vive sin miedo, tu creador te ha sanctificado, te ha protegido siempre y te ama como madre. Ir en paz a seguir el bueno camino y que la bendición de Dios os acompañe siempre. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 690, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. <laughs>
Can you? I can't. Okay. <laughs> 